what, what do you find most rewarding about your your job um, doing that, Nolan? I, I would assume it relates to seeing students grow, but maybe not. Um, <laughs> you know. um, yeah, so most rewarding uh, for me, one of the things I have my RAs do, and I think Thomas might have his RAs do this as well, is I have my RAs set, pick out three goals at the start of a semester, and one is a personal goal, one is an academic goal, and one is a spiritual goal. Hmm. Um, and sometimes the spiritual goals are something that's seemingly simple, but sometimes it's easier said than done, of just picking up your Bible and reading it mm -hmm. twice a week. You know, sometimes it's something that seems like it's that simple. Other times, uh, it's like I had one RA, uh, Ira, who he one of his personal one of his like personal goals was to start pitching at 90 miles an hour again. <laughs> <laughs> and he texted me over the summer and said, hey, I just wanted to let you know I finally accomplished this goal. Mm. Uh, even another one of my current RAs, Dante, uh, who you know very well, <laughs> um, <laughs> even uh, with Dante, he texted me the other day because two of his goals were that he could start, he's a center for the football team, mm. so that he could start all season and that he would pull a 4.0 for this semester. Mm. And he texted me the other day and sends me a text and goes, starting all season, check. 4.0 GPA, <laughs> check. That's impressive. Done. And I was like, like that's, to me, that's really rewarding because it means that I, I've gotten to see them say, this is what I want to do. I need to achieve it. And we get to have those conversations mm -hmm. as we go on about what that looks like. Yeah. About like the practical steps. Mm -hmm. that makes sense. How to put it into practice. That's always one of the things I ask them when they tell me the goals is like, okay, we hear your goal now. What are you going to do to accomplish it? Mm -hmm. And that's always the question I get to ask them after they tell me. And then we get to start talking through kind of action plans and that kind of stuff. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Thomas, what about you? What do you find most rewarding? I think for me, um, being able to have those faith conversations with students is really like what gets me excited about the job. Mm -hmm. I don't have them a ton, but when I do, like those few moments where I'm able to, um, are really rewarding. I, I had a conversation with someone who um, was very excited to be an RA uh, this coming year. And so we sat down, we talked about the job and kind of what that looks like. Mm -hmm. But obviously at Erskine, um, and we'll probably talk about this later, but um, at Erskine, like we want our RAs to be believers. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> so that way they can lead the floor um, accordingly and mm -hmm. um, in a, a manner that, you know, we all kind of agree upon. Yeah. And so I talked with him and, and he was, he was honest with me. I asked him like, all right, where's your faith at right now? Um, and we were able to talk through that and really, uh, I was able to encourage him like, okay, like over this Christmas break, over the next semester, like really focus on that. Like you don't have to become the best Christian like ever or anything like that, but use this time to like mm -hmm. develop yourself and grow. So that way, like when we come to interviews and things like that, um, we're able to see that growth and that mm -hmm. desire for a relationship with Christ. And that that's something that got me really excited to like yeah. see him being like, okay, like, yeah, I need to start like taking this a little more seriously than what I have been in the past. Mm -hmm. um, so.